Hello and welcome for Manages Sons Tips and Tricks episode number two. Today I will walk you through the Amseta Player page, the Oxy page, and a quick, quick you know, run through of the Amseta Live project the page. So let's start with going to your clubhouse and go to player profiles. Let's say you want to share your team or your players to a friend in an easy way. You go to squad summary. Maybe you want to take from one of your tactics to show how your senior team looks like. Then I put a tactics on that I use. I press filter. And then I make sure I copy from the first number. That's going to be one in my case to the last uh, form that's going to be a 9 here. It's important that you don't get anything else than this. It's one one player per row, so it's kind of easy to do. Here you copy it. You go to I'm set a player and you paste it and you press save. And now you can show off your full full team to to your friends. And if you want to use it in a forum post, you can even press on the name and you can use this top uh, URL copy it and use that as an image very useful if you're doing a lot of posts uh, another good thing here is that you can shake average player it's a bit bugged at the moment so it's the for format is not 100% but I think the calculation is correct so in my starting my average year age is 26 and you can see the average uh, attributes contribution on uh, all the players should be like this. So yeah, on top of that, this is this tool can also be used to calculate a bit or get a nice visual of how your uh, your players uh, will train. I will show that in. In showing one of my younger players, I will copy just one line this time. Make sure you don't get any extra, just one line. You paste it, you press shift and enter if you are on a keyboard, or just uh, uh, make sure you go down one step with the mouse or your pointer and you copy, paste it again. As you see now, we have two callback here. And uh, if you go back, you can edit it. So here you can see we have a lot of data. To, to showcase this, I'm going to try to show how I expect him to be as a, as a minimum when he's 20. Okay, so when I go here to my player, I would also open up. So how many attributes uh, gains does he does it get per per season? This is kind of hard since he's just 19. It's some difference between junior and senior. But if you look here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's say he get when you look here, he doesn't look like he lose any speed. So I will assume he get 8 to 9 balls uh, this, uh, this time. So, and he's already took three, so I assume he has maybe six left to take in this season because he's fairly close to passing here. So I have six uh, attributes uh, to add on. So I also know his high potential is in passing and play intelligence. And I would assume that both of them hit nine. And if I add add uh, six ball uh, in those attributes um, it's just a question how do i locate the, the correct attributes if you have the player up here it's kind of easy to see six eight four eight six eight four eight but if you're unsure you go to one you just put the 10 in you say to see okay the one i edited was header kind of easy to see and then you see okay if I want to go to 
two passings, I have to go up two because it's header, shooting, passing. And over passing is play intelligence. It's exactly in the way it's shown here. So I'm gonna add one ball here, and I'm now five more, and it's gonna go up to nine here. And I will revert this one to the same it was before. And I will also change the age because he will become one year older. So now my estimate of Carl Beck is that when he's uh, 20 years, he will reach a minimum of this player. This will help you to plan how well you, you play your trains, if, if it's gonna be in your any team you have or what value you, you want to sell your players for because I think the right call is more worth than the left call for sure. For sure. This is not 100% but it's very nice to get this visual representation. Okay, this was the big part of this video. Now I will show some short information regarding the two last pages. One is Oxy. So press on the top 11 calculator basically. Either here or here. I, uh, it doesn't matter. You make sure if it looks like this you press show alt view. If it's already here, make sure it's totally cleared. You go to your team, you go back to the squad summary. And since I'm only interested in players that are seniors, I will filter out some of the youths and I will copy all of the players. As you can see here, it's 20 to 30 players here. And I will paste it, I will press calculate and here you can either do this manually to get like a defender score on everybody, see the top one or uh, go from the bottom and you can do that on midfielder, striker and goalkeeper also. But you can also get help from uh, this page to sort it out for you. So now it's have picked the 11 best players according to this site. You also get a score here and that is uh, sometimes used in the forums to com compare uh, uh, squads uh, between each, each other. Not 100% accurate, but it gives uh, rough estimates at least. Worth to mention, this is a good base. It's not always 100% true. These players will be on the best position, but it's a very good estimate, I think. Um, uh, a word of caution is this is based on a short pass, not on wing play. And uh, this is super easy to see if you compare this player. It doesn't look like the best striker in, in the world. If you compare this to, you see all of the players I have here. I'm gonna pick this one that is my real uh, header in game at the moment. I would value this player a lot higher as a striker and a header than this one I shown here. Since these only have six shooting, seven passing, and this has zero pass, but it has ten shooting and nine heading, which I use since I use wing play. So it's not 100%, but it still gives a very good uh, estimate on what plays to use. Okay, so to the last and biggest part, but I will only show a very, very small part of this. This is the currency converter. Sometimes when you do trades, it's hard to understand how much they're actually bidding because it's not the currency. So just fill it in. If I get 1 million in euro offer, I put that in. And then I can see in my Swedish um, currency, it's uh, 9.1 million instead of 1 million. So this is a very nice thing. Later on, in another episode, I will show a bit more about the real feature of this site. That is uh, some more statistics for the team. So if I go to Sweden and to my division, I could see the average age on the starting squad here. I can see the average value. And if you are in high enough division, you can also see other statistics like attacking, order tension, defending, goal keeping 
and see where you lack and where you excel at uh, compared to the others in your division. This will be more in depth another time, but if you want to check it out, feel free to do it. And uh, if you have any question regarding what I have shown today, or if you have anything you want me to go through and give my opinions on, uh, I cannot guarantee everything is 100% correct how you think, but I just share a very good baseline how I use the extra stuff I have found and uh, how I think about uh, some of the, the choices you can make. Okay, this was all for today and I hope to see you again. Bye!